Hi beauties and curls, we are back with another video and it is Melissa Q. If you didn't know, now you know. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat and out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl, yes. So I'm never gonna take that for granted. If you're an OG, you already know how it works, how we roll here on the channel. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now at 6 p.m. Look for a new video, girlfriend. So today I wanted to get a jump on the Sephora VIP set and y'all I'm not only coming with makeup but I'm coming with hair products I do have these are my top favorites so let's just jump right in I am going to start off with hair products but I also have some makeup and some skincare that I want to share with you guys if I have the dates already I definitely will link link it in the video and either show it on the screen or down in the description box you're gonna see the dates because I want to keep you and give you the 411 y'all on the dates okay I do feel like you know my my collection is narrowing down but I feel like this is the time to get a Lux products Sephora only does this twice a year so this is the time where I feel like you should go with your Lux products things that you would normally get all the time not so much sometimes you can re up on uh, products that are OGs or holy grails in your collection but I feel like this is the time if you want to try a luxury product that's new if you want to try any of the holiday things if you want to try any of the things that are like on the high end of the coin you know what I'm saying this is the time you want to purchase those products I am going to talk about at the end of the video what I feel like I'm going to pick up it's very very minimal it's going to be less than three products and so yeah I already know on the top of my head what they are so in terms of hair I'm going to say let's start with way because I am loving this brand this texturizing hairspray I use when my hair is straight because when my hair is curly it's curly when it's straight it is straight okay and this gives some life and volume and some texture to my hair that's so funny like I straighten my hair I have texture when it's curly but when it's straight it has no texture but I'm putting products back in it to put texture back in it I know we can never be satisfied this is amazing I love the spray on here it's like an aerosol mist almost and I just really really like this I really haven't found anything like this that's affordable if you guys know definitely you know a girl likes to do her dupes videos so let me know and I'll try it out but this away texturizing hairspray is amazing the next thing I do have is their hair oil I used it this morning I really do like this and a little bit of this goes a long way it brings a lot of shine I feel like it locks in the moisture like if I put on a moisturizing product and then I put this on and it's not slippery and greasy and makes my hair blady you know what I mean blady it doesn't clump together this is so so good and it smells amazing and a little bit goes a long way and you know this is not the full size but I feel like hair oils from way go for it another brand I feel like that is great is Briogeo now that this is the small one of my reparative leave-in conditioning spray they are silicone free and paraben free this is the best of the best if you want to go like natural if you have curly hair Briogeo is also a good brand I am currently trying out their deep conditioner but this is the leave-in conditioner and I've also tried out the blowout spray if you have fine thin hair these types of sprays are really good this is very reminiscent to me of the it's a 10 um, but a little bit better because you can use this at for heat styling as well it's a 10 is good but I feel like this is like a step up from that I do have the larger of this but it also nourishes and repairs your hair at the same time so it's a 10 is good but like I said it's a 10 is not it's in the drugstore but this is in Sephora and you'll get 20% off so I really do like this and y'all know I'm gonna talk about this brand for sure and it is Diva Curl now there are a couple of uh, products in Diva Curl that I'm going to specifically recommend and it's because I've tried them all of these products that I am re recommending I've tried these are not things that I think you should buy or look interesting these are ones that I have either reviewed on my channel or I have tried and I have not posted the review yet but is a one and is worth your money 
the the closest this is the newest item one of the newest items from diva curl and it is the diva curl built up buster this is a micellia water i do have a review a full review of this i'll link it over here if you guys want to check it out but this is amazing this is amazing this is unlike anything else on the market there is not a micellar water for your hair. If it is, you guys link it down below and let me know because I want to try that out. But this one is great for buildup. I love that it has a concentrated nozzle right here where you can do it straight to the root. But this is going to pick up any buildup. And micellar waters are actually designed to pick up any dirt or impurities. So it being a micellar water for your hair, it is amazing. You will not regret this. A little bit goes a long way. And I've used this a lot and look how much Look how much it's showing that I've only used. Definitely worth your money. I do have a review on my channel on this. This is A1. This is the best. If you have dry hair, if you have super dry hair, I highly recommend the Diva Curl Decadence. I do have the original, but if you have super dry hair, if you are high porosity, these are your go-tos. These are gonna be amazing. I do have full reviews of this. I'm going to link it over in the iCards or down in the description box, but this is the Diva Curl One Condition. This is the conditioner, and this is the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence. The No Poo is A1. They smell amazing. They're super duper hydrating. Your hair will be able to tell the difference with these. Let's talk about deep conditioners. I do love the melt into moisture I did a review on this this is so good this is an amazing deep conditioner you do not need heat to see this activated into your hair you can use it in the shower you can use it out of the shower you can use it overnight you can use it under a hood dryer it is so good but I'm a woman on the go and sometimes I can't get under the hooded dryer actually I really don't like it I don't have the space for a hooded dryer and I don't have one but I do use this with my hair therapy cap but it does the same thing if I were to put it in a few minutes like 30 45 minutes or even overnight I get the same results and I really do love this I do have a review on this one as well I haven't talked about the heaven and hair but this one is really good this is an intense moisture treatment I would say out of the both I have a battle coming so I'm not gonna say which one I prefer over the other both of them are intense treatments this one has matcha butter so I would say if you have finer thin hair if you have like um, straight hair and you want to try diva curl or if you have wavy hair I would say the heaven and hair is probably gonna be better better for you this is a heavy duty because of the matcha butter it's gonna be heavier on the hair if you don't want your hair to be as heavy then I would skip this and go with the heaven and hair but this is an amazing one as well and I love it smells so good and they do have two different scents so this one has more of a fresh scent this one has more of a like floral sweet scent so yeah these are good and uh, something that I don't have that I've kind of I've reviewed on my channel so I was pregnant y'all in that one so spare me please forgive me of how I looked in that video but I did review some Comet Biologics that is an amazing brand and it's kind of hard to find if you don't go to the website they're in a few Whole Foods but Comet Biologics is amazing the Ethiopia butter as well as the there are some butters I can't remember the name but I'll put it here so you guys the ones that I've tried the like leave-in the burdock root yes that the buttercream those are good and I want to say the Alma uh, heavy cream a1 if you guys want to try those they do have some leave-in conditioners as well I have not tried those but there have been reviews for a while commit biologics is amazing if you want to try those I highly recommend that as well this I did a review on and it is a game changer and I talk about that in the video this is the Lancome Visionaire Crescendo this is amazing I did a full review on this and it is a night peel it changes your skin overnight if you have and this is an anti-aging peel if you are having issues with texture this is an amazing this is a go-to it's going to change your life and I really really do enjoy it it's also great if you are prone to breakouts because it has I believe salicylic acid in it and I just look at the review because it talks about all of that but I do recommend this 
is $75 so you it's a pricey product so you definitely want to get your money off on that but it's definitely worth the buy when I run out of this I'm getting it again because it's such amazing made a difference in my skin I've talked about it in my skincare favorites I've talked about it in my current favorites it's definitely something that I'm going to use over and over again it is the L'Occitane comfort cream this is such a great product now this is the comfort cream light it contains five percent uh carrot shea butter and i love this I, it's just so luxurious it smell it feels like silk it smells amazing it is so so good i highly recommend this if you are looking for a great luxury moisturizer l'occitane i don't hear a lot of people talk about l'occitane like skincare but they're amazing this is a great great moisturizer that i highly rec recommend from Sephora if you want to check it out if I only had one foundation to recommend to you and you're like Melissa cut all the fluff give me one foundation I'm gonna say NARS Sheer Glow this is the second foundation in my whole entire makeup life that I have totally run out of I have one drugstore and this is my high end absolutely love it this is hands down my favorite foundation of all time I do have a lot of loves but you talking about OG like if I'm going in and I had to just purchase one and it's great for year round, it's gonna be my NARS Sheer Glow. I do have it in Tahoe, but right now I would say I'm Syracuse. And I really, really, really love this. Even if you oily skin, I feel like that this is a foundation that you're gonna love. It's buildable, it's beautiful on the skin. I highly recommend this one. This pump, it does not come with a pump. I actually purchased the pump from NARS. So yeah, foundation. That's what I'm going to talk about. In terms of concealers, I, I have dry under eye, but I still love my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I tried the Soft Matte, liked it okay, but this is a love that I will continue to purchase over, over, over again forever. I get it in Biscuit and in Ginger. I get it in two different shades. I really do love this, and I feel like it's worth it. It's full coverage. All of my concealers I'm going to recommend be full coverage just because you can build them up. You can just use a little bit. And I feel like bases are really important. The the Makeup Forever is my favorite of all time just because it's hydrating. You can you you don't have to let it set. I feel like I don't get creases when I use this and it just looks so beautiful and flawless under the skin and I can use the color correcting shades and the brightening shades in this collection i do have a full review of these and i'll link it in the description box box below because i think the eye cards are going to run out soon and the naked skin uh the urban decay naked skin concealers are amazing now these are a little bit tricky because of the colors i i feel like you should go into the store if you're going to get one of these but in terms of the makeup forever and the nars in terms of concealers i feel like these would be safe to purchase online but these are kind of tricky in terms of the undertone i i had to purchase this three times before i got my perfect shade and it was like i had to go in and see the undertone because you really can't go by the label but this is a great one as well makeup forever pro bronze fusion this i feel like is definitely worth the buy i keep going back over and over and over to this bronzer this is the only bronzer that i have two of and that i would probably once i run out of this and uh hit pan on the other one i'm going out and buying it just because it looks so beautiful on the skin i haven't tried too many brown bronzers besides the tantastic the coconut one from mark jacobs which i have but this one has a different undertone this one is in 30 m this one I would say go for and finally I'm gonna talk about a perfume black opium this is the time when you want to get perfumes I feel like that this is definitely a great buy um, it has like the vanilla warm undertones it's a great year-round and it is something that you can wear light enough for every day but at night it's beautiful it's sensual it's it just smells amazing it's great for date night it's great for I feel like any special event and YSL black opium is my favorite I do like Mon Paris as well but I feel like that those are great buys okay so let's talk about what I am picking up I only have two items that I want to pick up flesh and fantasy by Marc Jacobs I do want to get that blush now that blush reminds me so much of a blush that I had from it was limited edition from Mac 
and it was half mineralized skin finish and the other was a mix of a highlighter and I can they they discontinued it but flesh and fantasy I promise is the same exact thing and I've been looking for something like that so I'm gonna pick up that blush I'm gonna pick up the YSL the primer and I believe I want to pick up the vanish stick in my shade from hourglass or the hourglass palette those are the only things that I really have on my list so those are my picks I, I those that's my wish list I don't have a lot to be honest with you guys because like I said I'm decluttering but I do have some items that I do want to pick up and those are it yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations let me know what you are picking up for the Sephora VIB sale and don't forget to look for the dates down below I love you guys talk to you soon